Hi everyone, uh, today I wanted to share with you my personal experience of getting COVID and the symptoms that I've had and, um, and the home self-care that I have did uh, for the past uh, almost 30 days. So I wanted to share that experience with you uh, for those who are going through uh, COVID or if you know anyone that's uh, having those type of symptoms, I wanted to um, you know, try to help someone out there uh, that how I got through this. So uh, basically, uh, back in uh, July, uh, end of near end of July, um, the state mandate for mask was kind of loosened, and I kind of let my guard down of not wearing a mask because it was so hot um, in Texas. So, and while you're working, then it gets hot, and then. You know wearing a mask it doesn't help so I kind of you know didn't wear a mask for a couple weeks because um, I thought it was kind of getting better uh, and but apparently uh, it it didn't matter you know even in the hot summer uh, you know it's I just got those cold symptoms so the first week of August I have I the first week of August I had um, uh, a fever uh, that was one of the symptoms and then I had uh, a breathing problem that was the major thing uh, right now as you can see I can't speak well because I'm still recovering uh, at this point it's been almost uh, a month but um, I'm getting a lot better right now but the first week it, it, it first two weeks it was it was just miserable so um, you know you're gonna have breathing problems uh, that's one thing and then you're gonna have fever you're going to have um, a diarrhea I mean I had that I had uh, what is it just a, what is it? rashes um, I had rashes I had a smell and taste issue um, pretty much all of the symptoms except um, vomiting so uh, it was pretty bad you know, I thought I had to go to the emergency room, um, but I couldn't go and I didn't go. So I, I just, you know, I just wrote it out at home and then, and then uh, I just, you know, try to self-medicate and, and then, and then uh, try to, you know, win this um, at home. And, you know, I'm very fortunate that I'm still alive here today uh, to share my experience so that any one of you out there hopefully you know this uh, you know the treatment that I've done at home can help at least you know to some degree so this is not actually a medical advice you know there's no medical treatment for COVID um, there is no actual um, actual treatment so um, please uh, this is just for self home care if you're at home um, and I hope you know, if you're going through COVID, uh, this will help uh, to some some degree. And this is uh, what I did uh, for those uh, for the symptoms that I've had. So first week, you know, like I said, you know, you're gonna have high fevers, whatever the symptoms. It, it was pretty bad because I think I had the Delta variant, and and my wife, she had a little bit more milder. Uh, than I did so you know she was able to take care of me but I couldn't move um, like a couple feet I couldn't even just sleep at night literally my fever was running in the hundreds so I had to take Tylenol but you know I should have gone to the doctor as, as as soon as possible but I thought it was just a minor cold you know like a summer cold but um, I kind of kind of uh, let my guard down so uh, what I did was I, you know, the first week I just, you know, took Tylenol, I took NyQuil, I just tried to knock myself out, but I couldn't sleep. It was just, it was crazy. So I had to, you know, bring my fever down. Um, and then, you know, I was taking showers and I was trying to, you know, uh, trying to manage this. And it was pretty hard because I couldn't breathe. So what I had to do was I had to, uh, lay on my stomach 
uh, and sleep on my stomach for for at least two weeks straight because um, uh, of the inflammation in my uh, in my lungs, um, which you know I had a uh, I had an app um, I connected with an app called Doctor Here, and then I'll put the link in the description below uh, of the, the app if anybody uh, wants to use that app. So, uh, but if you have a doctor, try to get uh, the azithromycin, which is antibiotics. Uh, that helped, um, which I should have gotten it sooner, uh, with, and, but I didn't because I, you know, I couldn't find a doctor. I couldn't do anything for the first, first week or so. I was just literally, I had, you know, it was to the point I should have gone to the emergency, but I didn't or I couldn't actually. So. Um, you know, try to go to the doctor or get some type of uh, telemedicine. Um, you know, you know, get in contact with your doctor. Try to get antibiotics first, um, and then I took two weeks of that. Uh, it was like six day dose. Uh, I did another refill, so it was like two weeks of that. That alleviated the fever. Um, that alleviated uh, the inflammation. So that kind of brought down my rash and all these other symptoms. So it did help. So it's not a treatment, but it helped reduce some of the symptoms. And then I was on the antibiotics for you know, 12 days. Uh, it was on and off, but that helped. And then uh, sleeping on your stomach. And then, um, you know, you're gonna be, I was dehydrated. So I kept drinking uh, fluid. At this time, I couldn't taste anything. I, I can't smell anything. Everything just tastes horrible. Um, you know, it just I can't. I, I can't even tell what's what. But you know, I try to eat. Um, I try to force myself. You know, to constantly overcome every day for the first two weeks, saying um, I'm gonna make it through this because I couldn't breathe for the first two weeks. It, it was just. Uh, it was unbearable. I mean, it was. I don't want anybody to go through this, you know. So, so that's why I wanted to share with you. Um, you know, like you should wear a mask and protect yourself, protect others, even if you're vaccinated. Um, I think mask will still help. Uh, you know, it's been about thirty days. I, I think I'm still. Uh, you know, I might have it. I'm not sure yet. I'm gonna get tested, which I'll. Upload, upload the results later or I'll tell you the results later how it went after about a month uh, so but you know right now I have a brain fog so I'm kind of going back and forth uh, with my video so I hope you understand um, if it's if I'm blabbering I can't get my thoughts all together and you know put this in order because well, you know, another symptom of uh, COVID is brain fog so and I have a, a like a balance issue when I'm walking. Um, so it, it's pretty difficult to walk sometimes, but I'm working at it every day uh, for the past, you know, 30 days I've been, well, yeah, almost four weeks now. So um, I've been just trying to walk each day, like one step at a time and it's improved. So I, that's why I'm able to talk right now. I'm able to, you know, make this video to share with all of you. So what I've also done is um, the first two weeks is most critical. It's, you know, you might not have symptoms. You might not even know it. Um, but for me, it was different. I just got it like that. And then it, it just came all at once. So it was unbearable. Uh, the, 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 the chest pain was excruciating. And then the breathing, you know, um, you know I don't know if I could made it. Um, every day so but luckily uh, like I said I'm, I'm still here so what I've done to kind of uh, help manage uh, my condition with the COVID I hope this will you know help somebody uh, so um, another another problem was uh, coughing I was coughing and coughing up a lot of uh, I guess mucus or you know because your sinus kind of build up in the first week and then you know it's like 
everything just feels bad <laughs> and then you know th th that's why you'll see some people just in the emergency room and then and and it's it's, it's not something that you want to go through but you know at home i try to like just blow out all the mucus as much as possible i try to cough out all the mucus in my lungs because uh, pneumonia is part of the, the uh, covid pneumonia is part of another symptom so i think i have that uh, which you know the doctors can't see me right now until i get uh, you know tested negative so i can't see anybody until then so but you know i'm just assuming that this delta variant that i have is just worst of the worst so but getting back to the treatments that i've um i've done i got uh, a uh, a pulse oximeter from a friend luckily you know they were helping me so uh you know invest in one of these it's a pulse oximeter that tells your oxygen as you can see i'm at uh, 90 95 96 right now so at first about two weeks in uh, it was around 93 94 it was and then sometimes it would drop down to 90 uh, right now it's about 95 96 it went up so uh, my oxygen level and my breathing uh, it's gotten better uh, so this is it's a good investment to have um, just in case you know if you have any breathing issue so get yourself one of this like a pulse oximeter for your finger um, this is gonna help you determine if you need to go to the emergency room or not uh, my doctor over the uh, over the um, app told me you know if the the uh, antibiotics didn't work then I need to go to the emergency you know like she was emphasizing you need to go to the emergency you need to and you know it's like you sound really horrible <laughs> but I, I just kind of you know I kind of ignored her advice and I just stayed home because I was able to still breathe and I knew okay I could get through this um, and so another thing I bought was uh, this uh, Korean uh, powder this powder uh, this contains um, apricot kernel and it contains uh, powdered um, glycerizera uh, glycerizera uh, I don't know what that is and then uh, powdered platycodon root and powdered uh, senega uh, so this powder kind of helped alleviate uh, my coughing um, issue so basically it's just a uh, comes in a little um, silver can and then and then there's like a little uh, spoon and it's a powder and then you just dip one scoop and then you just put it in the back of your throat and then uh, you do that like three to six times a day and I've been doing that I'll put the link in the description down below so if anyone needs that uh, you know tr and try that out if it helps uh, you know please do I'm not sponsored by any of these companies that I'm telling you I'm just trying to uh, you know put it out there to you know you know sh um, you know show you some alternative methods of how I was treating um, managing my uh, symptoms and my issues with coughing and the mucus so this powder really helped kind of manage the uh, mucus issue and then the respiratory issue this is for uh, for coughing and coughing and um, mucus and respiratory so uh, this is made in Korea and it's hard to find it here in America but Amazon they have it so I'll kind of put the link in the description below and another um, another uh, medication that I was taking was this uh, was this it's the same in uh, platycodon root pills uh, so it's the same ingredient in, in the other one that the powdered uh, form but it's in a pill form so it's easier to take so you're supposed to take it uh, like 10 to 20 pills uh, before breakfast or before dinner um, those two times you just take 10 to 20 pills and then that helps uh, um, uh, reduce the the, the coughing as well so uh, I think the, the platycodon uh, root that's like the main ingredient for those two um, 
those two um, supplements. Um, yeah, the powder form, it's a little bit hard to take in at first because it's, it's a little bit strong, but I just kept on just, you know, uh, putting it. It's all natural. It's not uh, anything chemical. So uh, that's why I, I prefer to, you know, use this method because someone was telling, uh, telling me and then my wife found out that, you know, this helped some of the people with their respiratory issues um, with COVID. And, and I've tried it and then it's been actually working uh, pretty good. So, so also since I'm having um, a smelling issue, you know, so I can't, you know, I've been eating well, uh, luckily, but you know, it's like I have no taste. I still have no taste and I can't smell that well, but I've been using, um, you know, I had some essential oil, uh, so eucalyptus, and then uh, lemon and lavender and some frankincense. So I was able to do some blind tests with my wife and I was actually able to smell the different um, fragrances and I got them right. Um, so my smell is somewhat normal, but it's not 100% there. So I'm just taking the essential oil um, aromatherapy to my, you know, through the nose, just trying to smell every day to bring those senses back and then it's been helping but it's not you know up there at the hundred percent level and also um, I've been taking vitamin C um, vitamin D3 and uh, zinc uh, I've been you know researching what vitamins to take and those three vitamins seems to be um, effective in, in with COVID too. So even before you get COVID, you know, take those supplements. Um, it should help prevent it. And not, it's not 100% guaranteed, but it should help. So I've been uh, managing through that way. So, and that's why I'm able to kind of make this video and share it with all of you uh, today to um, help somebody. You know, I know some of you out there might be single um, and it might be tough. If you get this Delta variant and you're home alone, it, it's, it's going to be tough. Maybe if you get it, you know, mild symptoms, you, know, you can manage it. But if you get it severe, like to the point where you can't walk, um, you should go to the emergency. Um, but, you know, I've heard that, you know, if your blood pressure, or, I mean, if your oxygen level is, you know, not in that range, that you need to go to the ER, they might not even admit you because the hospitals are so uh, overcrowded right now with COVID patients. And you know, if you get return, if you get rejected from the ER, and if you have to go home, you know, like like I said, I've managed through. I'm lucky. I'm very fortunate. Um, you know, people were my friends, uh, close friends were bringing us food and. You know, somebody helps have somebody help you to have some food. Uh, I've been eating uh, porridge, Korean porridge. Uh, that's something soft, um, and I can't take anything uh, with a lot of spice. You eat like too too sugary or too salty. Um, my taste buds, I can taste if it's really salty or not. So anything bland, it was pretty good, um, and then anything I could just you know eat. Um, I got to take in food as much as possible because you want to fight it off uh, as much as possible. But the number one important thing that I wanted to emphasize is that um, your mental uh, capacity, because everything, your body function, it's just completely, <laughs> it, it just completely stops. So, um, you know, you'll be scared for a little bit, but <clears throat> you have to you know, you have to believe in it. You know, you're, you have to believe that you're gonna get better each day. Um, you know, you have to focus on getting better each day. Don't give up. And then just, you know, you have, I wanna encourage you, you know, you, you're gonna make it. Um, so don't give up and then f try to, you know, find every possible method of treatment that you can uh, do to get yourself better. Uh, and just, you know, Try not to get down on, on on it because you have COVID or you know you're you're scared about it because that's what's gonna eat you up even more. You know, so what I'm doing is I'm fighting it through every day. 
uh, by walking a little bit, obviously making sure that there's no people around me um, because I don't want to infect anybody. So I want to make sure that I'm walking around, I'm getting enough oxygen, I'm trying to go to parks where there's not a lot of people. Um, so I'll show you, I'll upload that video too. So how I'm managing um, and then I want to make sure that you uh, are, you know, mentally strong. You know, you have to stay mentally strong with this. Uh, so don't give up. Um, please don't give up. And I know it's going to be tough. And then some people might be in the emergency room. It's they're just giving it up. Uh, but, you know, you know, let the doctors try to help as much as possible. But at the same time, you know, you want to manage this as much as possible at home too. Uh, you know, if you have to manage it at home, you know, those steps that I've told you earlier, uh, I hope that really helps. And then I'm also trying to get some oxygen, um, uh, oxygen uh, gas. So, you know, I'll upload that uh, later to see if how effective it is. Um, with getting the oxygen cans because the medical grade oxygen tanks I don't know where to get it yet so um, I'm gonna you know look on Amazon see uh, uh, you know see if there's some oxygen tanks and then I'll let you know uh, how that's working out too so I hope this video helps and then if there's any doctors uh, please do comment below I hope my, my, my story can help somebody uh, to you know, to use the, some of the products uh, because in America there's only certain type of medications that's available, uh, certain supplements that are available. But uh, in Korea, there's a different type of alternative, um, you know, supplements and alternative methods that I wanted to share with y you all that, um, you know, how it's been helping me. So uh, that's why I've been getting better uh, with the uh, self care at home. And obviously it's important uh, to eat well, stay hydrated, and, and then have, you know, your mindset just, you know, that you're going to make it through today. You know, you're going to make it through, you know, just keep, keep reminding yourself and then just, you know, work at it one step at a time, you know, which is what I'm doing every day waking up. And I thank God that, you know, it's, I'm, I'm able to uh, breathe this much and talk this much um, so far. So I'm very grateful. I'm very lucky um, to have shared this with all of you. And I hope this helped someone. And please do share this video uh, who might be going through COVID. And I'll keep everyone posted. Uh, stay safe and please do wear a mask this uh, COVID, it's not just, you know, it's going to disappear. The Delta variant, um, it's getting worse in, in the southern states and, uh, and people are just traveling. But it's, you know, even if you get vaccinated, I think there's still a possibility of even getting infected even if you're vaccinated. Uh, that's what I believe because people around me, they said they got vaccinated. But, you know, there's a lot of asymptomatic um, people too so we don't know so I let my guard down and then I got the COVID and I don't want anybody else to go through this um, so please do wear a mask it's going to help it's not gonna kill you uh, I know you know some people are adamant about their uh, you know rights about the mask or the vaccine but regardless of that issue the political issue I want to just make sure that people stay safe because um, I don't want you to catch COVID like I did because you do not want to get this. This is one of the worst uh, illnesses that I've gotten in my life um, next to the flu that I've gotten when I was younger. But that flu, I've gotten over it, you know, like over a month. Um, but this COVID, um, it's going to linger. I don't know how long. Um, you know, it could be months, it could be weeks. I don't know how long it's gonna last, but I'll keep you updated so that, you know, what kind of pro progress that I'm making. Um, so I'm kind of vlogging uh, daily. I'll let everyone know what's going on. So please 
stay updated um, if you like to subscribe please do subscribe and and share um, so that uh, you know your friends stay safe uh, your family stays safe so uh, I think I'm pretty much out of breath right now so I'm gonna end the video here today and I'll keep you posted thank you so much for watching uh, to the end and stay safe and a mask is a, a very good choice to wear right now so um, you know let's keep everyone safe all right okay thank you I'll see you again